Hello everybody, welcome to this month's island tour. We're now three months into the game, it is March 21st, 2021. With me today is a very special guest, my wife, Chelsea, the town representative. How are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing well. Let's have a look around town, shall we? Welcome to Mount Yama, everybody. Okay. Starting off on the airport, as we go up, we have our little waiting room area. I like to wait for people to come in, got some vending machines, nice little flower spot over there. Some money trees in the background look super cool. Uh, let's head over here. Let's wash up first before we enter the town. Thank you. I left the water running for you. Thanks. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go under the 20 to 21 sign for good luck. Let's let's go over to the flower area. This whole section. Um, I like to display my favorite flowers. Got a nice fishing spot here. Cool little place to hang out. Super nice. Love to chill here. Um, I like to keep everything nice and tidy. Hopefully I'm doing my part. Down here is my house. I love the colors here. Got a nice bike. Piano area to the right. Looks super cool. I love having guests over and they play the piano while I sit and listen. Under my house, we have um, a sort of a hybrid garden. We've got yellow or the uh, orange flowers, purple flowers to the left, and then red flowers. There is an order to this, but um, I just like to display all my flowers here. I think it looks kind of cool. It's very um, pretty. To the right of the piano area, we have this, uh, what would you call this? Uh, I don't know, plaza, plaza or something? Yeah, it's just I like guess. a nice outside dining area. This is a really good spot to take pictures. I like to display the seasonal item here. And as of this recording, we just received our anniversary cake. Happy anniversary, everybody. We've only been playing for three months, though, so. <laughs> Still cool, though. Um, nice fountain with some trees in the background. I kind of like that. Before crossing the bridge, let's finish off this little, um, this first section. Up here are my Jacob's Ladders that I've collected for having a five-star rating. I really like those. Up here, we have our wheel game. Pretty fun game to play with guests. And then we're gonna head over to the left of Town Hall. This is where your house is. Would you like to um, talk a little bit about this? Sure, the outside, inside? Uh, we will look at the inside of our houses at the end of the video. Let's see, so let's head to the backyard. Yeah, let's go back. So what are you doing with this area here? Well, you see, over here, I wanted to have a garden, but I wanted to um, have orange flowers going in the front, but I haven't found enough orange flowers yet, but yeah. Yeah, the flowers are kind of hard to make here in this game. Just a little bit, yeah. And then do that, like add more bamboo. Oh yeah, some more bamboo. That, that would here. be good. We don't really have too much bamboo here, so I would like to see that. That's true. All right. And then on the side, we got my bushes, bushes but yeah. those are just bushes to go. You can uh, never have too many bushes. Yeah, just for um, around town. Before we get off this, before we cross any bridges, let's talk about some of the neighbors here. If we go back down to the airport, head to the left, we have a extended beach, extended beach. Over here, we have Twiggy and Hamlet's house and they share a pool. Uh, Twiggy is a peppy type and Hamlet is a jock. I think they're very nice. There isn't really much going on on the beach, um, but I think that's okay. You don't really need to complicate things. Uh, to the left of your house, we have a lighthouse. A lighthouse. We have two lighthouses here on this actually. island. So that's pretty much it with this area. Uh, this is pretty much where everybody hangs out, just this first... Right here? Well, no, not <laughs> oh. right here, but just everything we've looked at. Oh, okay. Up north, beyond Town Hall, we have the farm. Um, I kind of like it. It's cozy. It's 
it's all right. I don't really know what else to do with it, but um, we're always working on things here. To the left of the farm, we have this kind of messy, junky looking uh, farm. <laughs> farm spot. I'm probably going to move that, see. but I just needed to add some background details. And behind that, we have the stage. We like to do a lot of fashion shows and plays here. Um, I think it looks super cool. Let's have a seat real quick, shall we? Sounds good. Cop a seat. Move the camera up. And then you can watch people, you can clap, you can do whatever you want. We always have a really good time here. Oh, okay. That works too? <laughs> it was beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Oh, okay. uh, but it, it's a grassy area, and as you'll soon see, there isn't really much grass left on the island. A lot of pathing, lots of stone set down. Um, here we have a little seating area just to kind of chill, relax a little bit. Right above us is tic-tac-toe. Have some pretty intense matches there. And then if we get up and move to the right, we've paired our shops together like everybody else. I think it's appropriate. Um, in fact, I think it's kind of expected to have your shops put together so that's kind of what we're doing here got a little jump spot we won't take that right now but going sort of above the farm we have the campsite we don't have a villager here today unfortunately but um, it's a pretty cool spot I like hanging out here and then above the campsite we have a moon and some bamboo to the right not really much else going on here but back here is just kind of like the messy section i don't know i kind of like uh, the weeds in this game so i like to display them here's our hidden beach not much to say here um, this is where red shows up and to the right of that is what i like to call conspiracy corner this is where you can see all your favorite conspiracies like the pyramids the aliens and stonehenge pretty cool spot i really like this this is one of like the first areas that felt complete on the island for me to the right of that we have the museum and you pretty much did all this yourself would you like to tell us a little bit about what you've done here sure well Thank before you. there was really nothing over here so i decided why not design over here anyway yeah, just so. put some pathing <laughs> down just yeah, do some something path. right because there was nothing over here yeah so i added some water and some flowers which we might change to a statue we'll see and then i added some stalls yeah kinda so this like a market I yeah guess. and this kind of reminds me like when you go to real life museums they always have a uh, like a gift what do you call like it store a gift store like a, a, a gift store i don't know what something. they're called yeah but yeah this kind of reminds me of that too which i guess it could make it more related to the museum but it's okay Anyway, and then over here, it's just another place to sit. I don't know. It's just Yeah, this is nice. cool. I like this. This yeah. is a good place to fish, too. That's true. Not really much room to do too much fishing anymore. That's true, too. Let's go behind the museum. You also put this area together. Yeah, so here I like to... I don't know, it's kind of like a picnic area. So, depending on the season, that's what I usually put in the middle. Like, if there's a food or something. And over here is a pond with uh, ducks inside. Yeah, so this is just like, since you can't put furniture on the water, you can use custom designs to kind of get your message across. That's true. And then behind the museum, I decided to put some palm trees. It just reminded me of Vegas, honestly, just seeing the lights here in front of the museum. Uh, taking a look back like this just kind of reminds me of museum with all the statues, the pyramids, and stuff like that. Uh, below the museum area, we have our gift section. Over here, guests can come. They can claim whatever they want. They can drop off whatever they want. It's just a nice area to pick up some stuff. Um, DIYs are always good. Not everybody has everything, so it's always good to just drop stuff if you don't want to sell it or if you feel like being nice. But there are trash cans all over the island. So if you feel like throwing things away, you can do that too. Over here is our uh, 
playground. Playground, yeah. Not much going on with this area. A lot of things are interactable, but um, nobody really comes over here, so this might get moved or adjusted later. Not really sure, but I do think it looks good. I just don't think it's too interesting, oddly enough. Yeah, I don't think so. I uh, got some custom designs. Those helicopters are really cool, though. <laughs> um, we are kind of in the middle of doing some moving around. That's why some... There used to be a house. An Anka used to live here, so that explains the uh, cat toy thing over here. But yeah, you actually did all of these yards. You did like 100% of <laughs> the villagers' yards. So maybe we can talk a little bit about these as we visit them. them. Well, this one is not supposed to look, look like this, but... This one is actually... Uh, this whole thing is going to get moved pretty yeah. soon, so... Uh, to the left of that, though, we have the King Tut Musical Chairs. If you haven't played this yet, it's a pretty fun game. Um, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Don't really need to say much about this. Just a fun mini game. Uh, got a pipe here that's blocked because of the fashion show, but... Other than that, it's a pretty cool area to hang out in. I like it a lot. I like to have a lot of mini games for guests to play. Uh, but if we go down these stairs and head up north, there's not much here but coconut trees and our red and white lighthouse. This is our town's lighthouse. The other one was from uh, another island because islands have their own colored furniture that you can order from the uh, nook points or something like that. Below that, we have our neighborhood. Would you like to talk a little bit about the neighborhood and all the fencing you've done? Well, yeah, so here we have... Uh... Oh, this is Apollo's house. Apollo's, yeah, we didn't, yeah, yeah, we weren't, we'd never, we didn't mention it, but uh, above Apollo's house by the King Tut is, was Mary's house. She's our newest resident oh, yeah. here, so hello, welcome, Mary. <laughs> anyway, this is Apollo's house. Yeah, so I don't really go by how the, the character, characters act. Yeah, yeah, I just go by what... I like so. yeah just what looks good yeah apollo is a cranky character so him having flowers is probably <laughs> exactly what he needs but yeah to the left of apollo we have renee i think renee yes yeah so yeah so here we have somewhere you can sit and some fire to keep warm and i mean that's pretty much it <laughs> yeah just a nice area yeah. oh then, wait oh. we forgot about wade oh, oh my gosh well, Wade doesn't have a backyard anymore. Wade, yeah, <laughs> well, he he used to have like a bunch of cool beach furniture, but um, nobody really likes Wade, so he's probably <laughs> gonna, Wade. yeah he's probably gonna be leaving soon. Um, but to make up for Wade's we appearance, we have Rodney, Rodney, which is probably the worst yard actually. <laughs> Rodney has a kind of a yeah. It's like nothing going on. It's kind of weird, but he does have something. It's, it's I think it's something. better than nothing. Yeah, that's true. Um, Still working on it, very slowly. Yeah, Rodney is is pretty cool, but yeah. Um, so going left here is just gonna lead to the um the outside dining area and my house. So if we head up north, this is just under the gift section. We have. Uh, one of the uh, best boys in the game. This is the lazy villager Bo. <laughs> Bo has a nice uh, flower garden here and a lawnmower. Yeah. Are you going to do anything else to this? or? Uh, I think this is it. This is actually my favorite one, except for there's a flower missing. But besides that, this is how I guess how I went to look. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that Bo kind of lives in the middle of town. It, it, his cabin themed house fits, I think. I think so, yeah. So, yeah. Up here is Anka's house. She just moved to this spot. Mm -hmm. And then up north is the shop. And I mentioned earlier, there's a jump spot so that you don't have to go all the way around just to get to the shopping. But, yeah. I try not to have many dead ends on the island. Okay. So next is my house. Yeah, so that's it for the island. Now we can go inside of our houses. Let's go into yours first, shall we? Sure. And I will let you lead the way. Okay. okay Thank well, you. Well, this is my living room. So I have a few things that I guess I would expect to be in a living room. Okay, so it's 
more on the realistic side, yeah. except that you have a giant <laughs> tree <Okay. I> <laughs> coming out of your floor. True, true. Yeah, when I can get a better workbench, I will, I will change it. But for now, that's what it's going to be. Yeah. And I'll probably move these when I get a basement. But anyway, let's go to the back. Yeah, this is cool. So, so back here. Keep in mind, this is only three months into the game. True. A lot of people have been playing for ye a year, but yeah. Okay, so back here is my kitchen. It's not finished at all. Oh, yeah, I guess I could turn Okay, so you got a nice little cozy kitchen. I love yeah. the kitchens. I kind of want to do a kitchen myself. You should. But yeah, I like the pink and white theme, so that's what I'm going for here. Oh, yeah. Kind of like cutesy, I guess. True, true, true. I like it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, next let's go to my bathroom slash laundry room. And that is over here. Yeah, I kind of wanted to recreate our apartment, but <laughs> I really don't have much room in my house to do that anymore. True. All right, All this right. is my bathroom and laundry room. So I'm still working on here in this room. I'm working on all of them, actually. But this is kind of what I want to look at, look like. I might try to change some of the colors of the things that I have if, if possible. But definitely going for the red and black and gray theme. Yeah, it's nice. Um, Thanks. I do like this divider. You have kind of the... Uh, like this is the bathroom area. I think a a rug would look nice here, kind of just like in front of these two. Sure. But yeah, this is um, it's nice. It's cozy. It makes sense for the most part. I think the washer works. True. True. I like the colors. It's very very cozy. I like it. Thanks. Okay, now let's go to my garden. All okay. right. So in this room, basically, I have. All the plants that I've gotten so far in this game. What are you thinking about over there? Um, I like it. I like the windows. It's super um, like outside inside vibes. I, I think I think it it works here. The water fountain is nice. Um, I think this is just like a thing with the game. There aren't too many plants in the game. I wish there were more, but. True, yeah. It'll but I do like that you have some things hanging on the walls and... Oh, yeah, let me turn the camera. Um, the color scheme is super nice. You got the stone flooring. The wallpaper is really unique. I like it a lot. Thanks. Uh, what happens when you turn the lights on and off? Or is this... What, what kind of Oops. light setting are we at right now? Oops. <laughs> okay, so we're... Oh, okay. The lights off. And then the, I guess, yellow lights, and then the white lights. Okay, yeah. I like the middle, the, the yellowish lights. Yeah, I think so, too. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, off is kind of nice, too. Off is nice, yeah, because the, uh, the windows look pretty good. So next, we will go look at my house. Looking at the exterior, we have the purple roof. Uh, I think this is a... It looks red, like a red brick. kind of reminds uh, me of, like, a... I don't know, like a gingerbread house or like something. You're like a gingerbread house. Kind okay, of. that works. You've got the, the, color the green door with the pink welcome sign and the yellow mailbox. I just really like it. Actually, Renee's here. Renee used to live right here. But outside is where I have like, um, just like a, a, a seasonal item. And right now I'm displaying like the spring blossom lamp. All right, let's go into the house. And this first room is the forest stream i'll turn the lights on for you so you can see i just put a bunch of outside stuff that i crafted here I've got a monster in the corner bell cricket nice little ambiance a lot of my rooms are better with the lights off so uh yeah i will turn the lights on for you though let's head upstairs it's very mysterious yeah it i put it together really quick at harv's island took me like 10 minutes to do but nice. upstairs, we have the home theater. I've always wanted one of these, so I think it looks really cool. Uh, me and my guests like to come here and watch videos and look at pictures and stuff like that. We turn off all the lights. And before doing that, you can head over to the left, grab some uh, popcorn and some gum, candy, whatever you want to do, wash your hands and stuff like that. 
other than that, yeah, I'm probably going to move some things like that. It's pretty simple, but it does serve its purpose. Heading down, going to the right. We have the casino. It's so loud here. It's so loud. It's popping, though. Like, we always have a good time here. It's dark. The ambiance is out of control. Pinballs, machines, arcades. Um, we like hanging out here. And on the wall, we have, like, the Pinball Hall of Fame where I have all of the villager photos that I've collected. Nice. <laughs> Very uh, nice. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. And then, <laughs> last but hopefully not least, let's go up to the top room. I don't have my basement done, so unfortunately I can't show that for you. Maybe next month. Keep in mind, this is only three months into the game. I know it's kind of a long time, but I like to I like to pace myself. Um, this is kind of the gothic room, I guess. This room was originally put together by Ocean, one of my viewers on Twitch and YouTube. Um, but then I kind of just started adding more gothic themes to it. The music is nice. The skeleton in the corner is creeping me out a little bit. But the lighting is lit. I like it. Got the candles going. And that is pretty much it for the Mount Yama Island tour for March of 2021. Thank you, Town Representative Chelsea, for joining us this month. I hope to see you again for the next one. Thank you for having me. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon. I'm going to upload this island to the Dream Address, and uh, I hope you come and visit. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.